Hey guys, it's your boy Jaren here. Welcome to part two of the AT game Sega Genesis. Um, if you didn't see the first part, it'll probably show up somewhere on your screen right now. Um, but with no further ado, we'll just move on to the next game. Alright, so this first game is Memory. Um, I don't think it can be worse than Mahjong though, so I think we're in the clear. And I stand corrected, this game is definitely worse than Mahjong. You got that terrible music, those putrid green graphics, it's just such a bad experience. Like, could they pick a more unappealing color to be in the background of their video game? I don't think they could. You also have this press C to surrender, taunting you at the bottom of the screen the whole time. Just take my advice and press C to surrender from playing this game. So, this next game we're gonna play is called, uh, Mr. Balls. Mr. Balls. You know, they had to have known. They had to have known that they had chosen the worst names for any of their games. You know, imagine you're a kid, okay? And you're on the playground and your friends are talking, you know, what games did you play last weekend? And, and you know, you join and you're like, oh yeah, I played this new game. It's called Mr. Balls. So now you might be asking yourself, what is Mr. Balls? Well, it's just a stupid puzzle game. That's it. But we do got some Mr. Balls lore. So get a load of this deep lore. Mr. Balls and his brothers get caught into a mysterious machine. Your mission is to free them all. So everyone in this game is Mr. Balls. It isn't just like one singular character. They're all Mr. Balls. All I really have left to say about this game is that it sucks balls. So this next game is called Naval Power, which is probably the worst version of Battleship you've ever played. In traditional Battleship, you usually get a pick where you put your ships, but not Naval Power. They just pick it for you. And then you got the worst graphics you've ever seen in your life, and it's almost impossible to win because the computer just knows where you're going to be. And it's one player Battleship, which is always so much fun, so it, it sucks. Alright, so next we got Snake. You can't screw up Snake, I mean that thing's been rocking since the Nokia, so I think we're in the clear with this one. So uh, this is it. This is AT Games take on Snake. Really uh... Really exciting, isn't it? <sighs> so this is to be the most boring game of Snake I've ever played. <sighs> so it turns out you can make the game faster and making it a little more playable, but if you're gonna play Snake, I'd stick with your Nokia phone. Alright, so now we have this next game. It's called Spider, where you must protect your anniversary from the Arkanoid Invasion. And when they say Arkanoid Invasion, they really mean it. I mean, whose ever house this is, they have a serious spider problem. But as you can tell, it's just another light gun game, but there's no light gun, and so you just shoot. You just shoot all the spiders, and eventually there's just so many spiders on the screen, you can't win. At least I don't think you can win. But all in all... It's playable, that's more than I can say for most of these games. Speaking of unplayable, this next game is Warehouse Keeper, a puzzle game that I could never beat the first level, because it doesn't tell me what to do and I have no idea what's going on. You know, you made a really good puzzle game when the player can't even beat the first level, and they're not even 100% sure what the goal is. So, Warehouse Keeper, what a great game. So I think you're supposed to get all the boxes on those X tiles, but I honestly have no idea how you're supposed to do it on the first level. Like, it's so difficult, and I don't really have the patience to play a stupid puzzle game on this crappy console. So, that's Warehouse Keeper. Alright, so that's the last game. Right? That's right. The AT Games 10 and 1. Game cartridge. No. 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 More bad games? More bad games? So 
Unplug Barkley, Shut Up and Jam, and plug in AT Games 10 and 1. That's right, guys. They added a cartridge with bad games on them. Maybe since it's on the cartridge, maybe they'll be better. Doubt it. All right, this first game is called Adventure in the Park. And I don't know if you've been to a park recently, but it doesn't look like this. So this park's got ladders, snakes, small dudes in armor, fire, rock golem, and mothra. So the object of the game is to collect everything on screen, from keys to clocks to watermelons, and then go in the door without dying. Sounds easy? Well, it's not. Alright, so look at this. So I'm going, I killed an iron guy, and then BOOM! He spawns right on top of me again. All the enemies respawn so fast that you just die. So this game is a little more of a game than the other ones, but... It still sucks. So none of the games in this collection are really original. Break the Fire Line is just Space Invaders. Bubble Master is just Luxor. Fish Tank Live is just Arkanoid. Plumbing Contest is the worst part of Bioshock. And Wall Breakers is just tanks. But an original game on this collection is Maze 2010, which is probably the sequel to Curling 2010. And it's... it's a maze. You're just a guy and you're... Walking through a maze, collecting diamonds. Very exciting. But I did beat the game, with a score of 4690, which is probably the high score for the game on the leaderboards. So if you can beat that, message me. And finally we have Tropical Labyrinth, which is basically... Maze 2010. It's really not that different, other than the control scheme changes, but you can just flip your controller upside down, and it's the same effect. But I most likely have the speedrun world record of 1 minute and 5 seconds, so beat that. <sighs> well, we did it. We played every bad game. Oh, I'm so glad it's over with. Wait. What? It's one more? I guess, guess we missed one. Well, let's try it out, I guess. Ronaldinho, <laughs> so sad!